ดีค่ะสวัสดีครับ We are going to start with the what menu today? Uh, we call it p e r g a d e l p e r g a d e l p e r g a d e l Is it the main menu? Yeah, it is. Uh, I think it is a um, side menu. Side, side dish. menu. Side, side, side dish. Do we normally eat with something else on yeah. the main dish? Isn't it? Right. Absolutely. Right. So we eat with breakfast. Can uh, we eat with lunch? Yeah, we we eat all of. So it will be yeah. dinner. Right. So we get start to know with the ingredients first. First one, the main one is potato. Uh, kentang. This one is minced beef. Ini daging yang sudah digoreng. So we stir fry, make it cook. Uh, it uh, it's not uh, cook by uh, with oil or water. It's just uh, the pure meat uh, frying pure well. Pure itself, so no oil. No oil, no water. No water. Yeah. And no seasoning. No seasoning. Right. And yeah. the next one is. Uh, uh, celery leaf. Down celery. And this one is seasoning. Uh, leaf powder. Uh, bumbu kaldu sapi. And fried shallots. Uh, bawang goreng. This one is nutmeg. Uh, pala bubu. And pepper. Uh, dan lada putih. Garlic. Bawang putih. This one is white egg. Uh, putih telur. So we pop the egg yolk away and use yeah. the white egg. So shall we get start? So that one is oil, oil and heat. This oil and heat have already heat. Okay. Uh, yeah. So ready heat? Okay. Add your garlic. Okay. So we start from the stir fried garlic. Fried garlic. Okay. So. Stir fried garlic with the yeah. low heat. Cawan ngambil ya bu. And then later on, are we going to put the garlic and mash uh, them? Mash them. Uh, there is a unique hist uh, history about this pergadel. Uh, we absorb it is uh, from the Dutch culinary, Netherlands. Dutch, Dutch culinary. Uh, it it's its original name frigadel. Uh, why? Because uh, as a historic that Indonesian. Uh, has been colonized by Netherlands for a long time, okay. so we adopt some of culinary become our own culinary. Okay. So it is uh, one of type of culinary that we adopt, and then it is uh, widely used in every uh, uh, in, when we take a course uh, it's as a side course. Side dish in general. S side dish in general, right? Like uh, right now it's already uh, brown, and then the next, the next is potato. So you mean this menu? So we eat in general around Indonesia, right? Right. So in every uh, island. Every island. Mm -hmm. okay. We deep fry potato. Potato is fresh one. Fresh one. That is fresh potato. Fresh potato, and we we so fry it only to make it softy. That can be blended, mesh with this uh, with the other seasoning. Fresh potato don't need to boil it before. We just peel off the skin and then we use the fresh one, chop into pieces, and then directly deep fry with oil. And how long we need to deep fry potato? Uh, how, chef? I think around five minutes. Ten, five or ten minutes. Five to ten uh, minutes. Don't wait till till brown. Don't wait till this the color to be brown. Just make it softy. I think it's enough. I think garlic is ready. Okay, you are faster, I think. Potato has been boiled for 10 minutes, and let's check okay. whether it is ready or not. And oh, smooth. Oh, it's soft. Yeah. It's soft, 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 enough. soft, soft enough. So it's ready. ready. It's ready. To okay. Shall we pop in here? And after we deep fried potato, we are going to mash them. So this potato has no seasoning, no salt, nothing, just a fresh one. Okay, now uh, we can mash it. And now we are going to mash uh. them. 
let me help. Okay. So put potato into the motor. Yeah. So in the motor already yeah. have uh, garlic. Garlic. Right. We mash fried garlic. garlic. The fried garlic. Okay. We mash it. Okay. Let me help. The concept is blend it all together here. So mix them well together, yeah. potato and garlic. And then okay. shall we transfer into the big bowl? And after we transfer into the big bowl, what else we do? Uh, oh, we put all inside. Uh, we will mix so the, the beef. We mix start with the beef uh. and basically uh. mix all okay. the ingredients together except the white egg. Okay. So normally we mix by hand, but if you want something else, you can have the paste a petal mm. to help. But with hand, we mix well together, right? Yeah. This is the tradition of Indonesia. Right, yeah. This technique also the tradition. So we learn it uh, generation by generation. Okay. okay, and after that, what you are going to do, are you going to form uh, them into the small pieces? Right, we will, uh, after it mix well, so uh, we can form it to be a square. A square one? Yeah, a square one. Then uh, we... Uh, going to the next step uh, by so cover it with the white egg okay. before the before the fried for the shape can we make it to round the round shape is that okay round shape the circle the circle yeah we can as as uh, what we will prefer to make it form so basically any shape any shape depends on where we are going to serve mm. how about if we want to make it more interesting for serving kids can we ah. make it to kitty yeah. Doraemon or any cartoon characters? Yeah, I think good idea. <laughs> good idea. Yeah, huh? that, that we can serve it. It is just how to so, serve. Yenny, is it ready? Yes, ready. It's ready. Yeah. So a little bit more is ready. Not yet, I think. Not yet. I think not yet. We need to carry on a little bit more. Because I can see potato still has not mashed and mixed well yet. Mm. Uh, that's all right. Now what we are going to do, we are going to form them into the square size. Yeah, yes. Now we have Pekadel. Pekadel in square shape, we have molded them in a square one already. And now what else we are going to do? Uh, now, uh, before we fry it, we coated this pergadel with the white egg. This, fun uh, this have a purpose to su make sustain that when it fried, it uh, will be harder, not broken or separate. Oh, okay. Okay, so let our chef to do it. Mix stick them together, not gonna let it to part. So we already heat oil with the high heat and then now we are going to fry it. Deep fried pickadill. And then but it widely used. Uh, I, I don't know I don't know why, maybe because uh, it's simple to make in our daily and we, we can find easily the raw material. Right. So if we don't use beef, what else we can use? Uh, Chef, if uh, alternative way, if not beef, we can use another. Uh, no, uh, I think you, uh, if you not don't uh, use beef, you can use a cornet beef. Oh, cornet beef. Oh, just just another form of beef, mm -hmm. but still beef. Mm -hmm. and, and uh, beef thin, right. thin beef, thin, uh, thin beef. beef. Yeah, yeah, okay. thin beef. Like the shredded beef from the can, from the yeah. tin. Can we use chicken? Minced chicken? No. Uh, it cannot. So absolutely, it it made uh, with beef. So basically, tradition Indonesian will be beef, minced beef, 
but I assume we can yeah, use like yeah, seafood yeah. or something else <laughs> if we want to apply into anything else. It is, uh, we need a uh, research and develop uh, this kind of uh, thing. And what the taste like? Uh, this, I uh, like blended. So blend. it's mix of uh, seasoning. So uh, blended and yeah, salty. Have uh, how we call it? Salty. A little blend. salty. It's a blend. blend. Nothing else apart from greasiness and saltiness. Okay. And I suppose it is flavorsome with the potato flavor, and it should be yummy. So Pecadel, after we deep fry it, we are going to leave in here for a while to let the oil away and then we are going to set up yeah. The Pecadel from Indonesia, it's yeah. inference from Dutch the taste will be blend, blended, uh, a little bit salty, salty. It's side dish, so we can eat it with all foods with the main dish, breakfast, lunch, and also dinner. Thank you very much for today. Thank you very much. Okay, good morning.